this week an episode for the sailing technical fanatics and ocean lovers. Our alternative to the toxic anti-fouling. A carpet under our boat, a product called Finsulate and did we make a mistake? Or was this a good idea? Well, today we're gonna see it all while we are cleaning our hull for the first time after being more than 20 months on the sea and in the marina. So, time for a hull cleaning adventure. Well, 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 good morning. It's six o'clock in the morning and today it's the D-Day of Finsulate. So after 20 months of applying the Finsulate, we're gonna clean it today. And I found a guy here, a local guy from Tivat, and he has a special technique, it's called cavitation. And we're gonna use it today. So we're gonna bring him on board. We're gonna use some different kind of techniques. So Scott's Bride, the spark mess, and uh, this new way of technique. So it's gonna be fun. We have an expert guest on board, his name is Nathan. A few weeks ago when he was applying for a job on a deckhand, as a deckhand on a, on a super yacht, uh, yeah, I told him as a kind of, a, as a joke to say, ah, if you can't find anything, you are always welcome on board the perfect sense. So, uh, and then we got a message and now he, he is here. And he is a real, blast to have on board. Yeah, I'm Nathan, I'm 19 year old South African and I want to be a deckhand on a sailing yacht. My dream is to be a deckhand on uh, the Black Pearl, which <laughs> is uh, yeah, just over there, as you can see in the background. And we're gonna help him with that. Yeah. So Nathan is gonna take care about the, the upper hull and I'm the and the big guy are uh, gonna clean the, the underwater uh, area and see how Finchlade is holding. Good morning, and this is the big guy from Tivat. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So what's the technique called? So it's called cavity cleaner. It's using basically the power of the air in the water, the contact of the, with the surface, it explodes and then uh, take out everything from the, from the boat or, or from anything that hits. So this is the seawater pump so we are only using seawater to uh, to pressure wash the boat underneath So in this whole process we're gonna do outside of the marina. So we're gonna do it in a bay. We're gonna drop anchor behind the bay so we don't have any waves or current. And then we will start cleaning. So we will just test a little bit. I think I assume on the rudder or somewhere at the aft. And I saw him working already with uh, here on, uh, on Puerto Montenegro on the, on the ramp. They couldn't get off the growth for years and they tried some pressure wash, some normal pressure wash, but it wasn't working. So then I told him about this guy and the next day he came and he cleaned in it in just one and a half, two hours. And it's, I, I went and visited him and it's very powerful to see. So uh, yeah, very curious if the Finsulate is, is holding it because yeah, you know, it's a, it's a wrap, it's a film. So let's see. <laughs> So your profession is being a fireman, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm the firefighter actually and it's my biggest love in the life. Yeah? And then everything else behind it. <laughs> Cavitation. Yeah, everything it's like that.
next one. This one. Yeah, this one. Gonna do is we're gonna clean the fin slave today so one method is gonna be this spark mess to take off all the the hard stuff we're gonna use the, um, the scotch bright and this is um, the first time after 20 months we're gonna clean the hull so there will be a lot of growth and we have some uh, special tool but can you explain the, about the, the, the principle of the cavitation so basically you have pump with high pressure and all the magic happen in this nozzle because uh, in this nozzle it makes cavitation. Basically from the water you have small uh, bubbles of air and from that small bubbles of air exit from, uh, from, uh, from the nozzle with the water and then when they hit the surface, for example this insulate or anything, yeah. uh, they, they explode and when they explode they remove all dirt from that surface that hit, they hit. All people need to understand that it's all of this is happening on, on, on microscope level. It's, uh, okay. For me, it's the first time to work with uh, Finsolate and it's interesting for me how it will behave everything. Yeah, yeah, because we, we put it as a wrap on the hull, yeah. so you can see the maximum width is one meter, mm -hmm. so you can see the, the lines. Yeah. So it's very interesting how it holds with the yeah, pressure. Yeah. And how, how much pressure can you can you generate? Can you so, can you adjust it? Yeah, I can adjust. So basically, my working pressure with this uh, cavity gun and, gun and machine, it's about from 110 bars until 300. 300 bars, I can use only for propellers shafts and things like this yeah but for whole I start with money minimum pressure then I work up to see how it work yeah and uh, that's basically rule that I'm using it's really powerful thing it's not a joke now you told me about the fingers right yeah when you... uh, once I was uh, outside I used gloves I was talking with somebody else I tried and uh, accidentally cut my fingers three of my fingers was cut like this even even, even, even through through the gloves how how is it for the fish or for the surroundings? Because uh, you put a lot of pressure, a lot of noise. A lot of noise, a lot of pressure. You will see on the video. It doesn't affect on the on the on, on the, the marine life, on the environment. And I need to. I want to tell that this is only uh, by European Union uh, that it's possible to use basically everywhere because it's green. You don't you don't come come with contact with uh, any surface and you don't uh, put poison back to the sea. No. So basically, you take dirt from the or from the fistulate or from the copper or from anything that you are using. Yeah. And also on other kind of uh, anti fouling, you don't take off the um, the paint. No, nothing. I don't take the paint. I just separate ah. the dirt from the paint. Great. And, because uh, we have on the dinghy, we have the, let's say the poisonous anti fouling. Yeah. So yeah. we can we can test it. Of course, we will test it. Uh, I just want to show you, to show to everybody, to be honest with you, that it's a new thing, it's revolutionary, and it works good. It's a really amazing thing, and I'm so happy that I find some ecological solution. That, yeah. Uh, that I, I was looking for some other brands that use brush and things like that, but I didn't like it because all that poison you put back to the sea. Yeah, indeed. And, and everything everything that I want to use, I don't I see it's my father, me, everybody, you, your kids was swimming here and I don't want to poison uh, no. see more. And that's the whole reason why we, 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 we made the decision to, yeah. to go for this because it's, it's quite new mm -hmm. and it's, yeah, it, it's like an invention but it's eco-friendly yeah. instead of getting all the paint because if you take the old paint it's like throwing, let's say, toxic into yeah. the ocean yeah. Yeah. and you can see it. Okay, and what, how, how do you think the kind of angle you will so use. basically i'm using angle by by the this uh, nozzle by itself like, so like it, this. yeah maximum angle that i'm using is 45 degrees okay on, on the surface yeah yes this is a big machine it's gonna make a lot of noise then we're gonna clean the boat benjamin It was very powerful, I feel it pushing back. 
like a machine gun. Yeah. This was a pause, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm very satisfied about taking all the dirt off with the spatula, um, but I'm very impressed by the cavitation technique because it's 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 much easier to get it off and you are not d damaging anything. Yeah, basically, like I told you, it's a uh, you know on microscopic level you have b small bubbles of air between uh, anything between, uh, for example, anti falling and dirt between fissurate and dirt and just uh, that microscopic uh, bubbles of air go inside and remove the dirt without damaging the surface. And is it then that the air is going between, let's say, the, the anti-fouling and the, the growth and then it kind of explodes? Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that uh, air explodes, but uh, I need to explain that it's on microscope levels because uh, a lot of people was thinking that it's some big explosion. <laughs> uh, it's a big explosion. Yeah. But no, it's not big or anything big, it's just the easiest way to, to, to explain how it's working yeah. and the easiest way to see how it's working. Because until you see, it's uh, really hard to understand uh, how it's work and uh, how powerful actually it is. Absolutely. Yeah, because in any way, when you, when you listen about it and everything is different, uh, when you listen about it and when you actually feel it and when you see it, how it works. Yeah. And if you compare, because you, uh, I only have the comparison with the, we had copper coat on it before. Um, so, and then it was also hard to remove with the Scotch Bride and the Spatula to get the stuff off. And how is it for you to compare it with, let's say, normal anti-fouling, copper coat and, and finsulate? I can uh, tell you honestly that uh, finsulate is much easier to remove any kind of dirt. Uh, like, I, like I was showing you that small round shells, it's the hardest thing that is, uh, to remove from the pole. Yeah. And from finsulate it's so easy. Um, like, I, like I told you, I try on this small boat and uh, it was really, I was angry how it's hard <laughs> from ordinary copper core or what is it, anti-fouling. But from fifth solate it's so easy, probably because of that it has layer between, uh, bigger layer between uh, that fin solate and dirt and it j just go inside and uh, remove everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that's my experience as well. What I, I'm really impressed by the, the number of surface you can clean. Yeah, basically possibilities are, are unlimited. I was cleaning metal, I was cleaning concrete, I was cleaning uh, for the first time fin solate. Uh, and everything, uh, it's basically just, uh, it can remove everything. I didn't uh, meet anything so far that I couldn't remove. No, but that's, that's, that's true. And you also cleaned the whole propeller. Yeah, I cleaned the whole, whole, whole propeller. Uh, that gears between the propeller was, how to say, there was inside of a lot of dirt and I removed everything and I'm happy how now it moves. Like you see, everything is uh, smoother, moving, uh, yeah, turning around. Even that thing for cutting ropes was completely grown yeah. around. Yeah. And it's really, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm really satisfied how all of this is going. And how, how long do you think we, 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 we need more, more time? Uh, about two hours maximum, I think, because uh, the hardest part, uh, the I was already clean. I cleaned the propeller, I cleaned uh, this... Uh, the rudder, the, the, rotor, the keel. The keel and uh, now it's just the hole and uh, for me it's the uh, easiest part. Okay. Uh, because I purposely always leave the easiest part for the for, the for the last. Yeah. And for me the, the hole is the... Uh, the most hardest part because I have to go upside down. That, that's for me. That's yeah, a, that, that's not a natural uh, feeling. So natural I will, feeling. Yeah, yeah, but like you see, I really used to it yeah. because uh, I'm doing this for a while, and uh, after some time, it begins to feel uh, nat nat natural. natural for you. Yeah. The only thing uh, that it's how to say not to be afraid and to relax, yeah. and, and that's all. Yeah.
Yeah, I have, uh, I think, 50, 40% in my bottle left, so I can yeah. join you. Yeah, you And I can fun. use, start feeling how yeah. it feels to, to use it as well. Yeah, I would like you to try it, to, to, to see <laughs> how it... <laughs> to float through the water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because uh, it's really like a jet under the water, it, it can move you without problem, even me. It's like the guys who can jump yeah. out of the yeah. water, right? Yeah, something like that, <laughs> not actually like that, but it's really pretty powerful. I never don't go into the sea without knife because once my leg was stuck in the fishing net and trust me it wasn't a pleasant experience because I begin to run without air but in the end I think the thing that saved my life it's knife and from there basically whatever I do in, in the water knife it's with me always there yeah so I just wanted to show you yeah. the traditional way of cleaning for example, the dinghy on the toxic, toxic uh, anti-fouling. So if you do it like this, you can see it's easily getting off. But you can see it's kind of a milk coming into the water. And this is pure, pure toxic. I hope you can see it. So and with the cavitation technique, there's no paint coming off. And it sounds maybe a little bit strange. But it's true. But it's true. <laughs> can you show it? Yeah, of course. I can do it. Great. So what you can see there's no No, there's no wheel coming. So it's pretty easy to get it off with the with the spark mess. And I use first the spark mess to get all the hard stuff off and then I use the, um, the Scotch Bright to really brighten it up. And yeah, it's working, working pretty good. I saw the thruster. Like I told you, I don't know why, but always the most dirty place on the boat is the thruster. And the most, how to say, hardest place to clean is the thruster again. And uh, like you see, you could see what everything exits from there because it's really amazing how much of uh, shells how much and dirt. Everything. How much dirt, how much shells and everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that was everything. Yes. So take three. Final piece of uh, of cleaning. Just had a wonderful lunch, and it's just amazing to hear the background story that this is kind of the first eco-friendly way how to clean the boat underwater with this um, kind of technique. And I'm blown away by it. Oh! <laughs> Nathan! <laughs> Benjamin, you had the same! Nathan, can it again? Yeah, I can't do <laughs> Nathan, how are you doing? I'm not doing fine. Nathan, nice and refreshing. everyone we thought we're gonna sit with all of you and tell you our experience about this product Finsulade which has quite some things going on on the internet we uh, put this product on our boat in 2020 20, during the refit during the refit on our copper coat and this was actually something special because back then the product was very new into the industry and it's a little start off with this beautiful scientist who's really passionate about keeping the oceans clean and finding something that isn't toxic for our beautiful oceans which as most sailors are very enthusiastic about because we love our oceans uh, but wow. <laughs> 
We also know that with new products, startup, there comes a lot of hassle in the beginning. You will have problems with product development, with product placements, with marketing issues, everything around it. And that's also happened to this product. But we knew that, so we took those risks and we are here to share with all of you how we experienced these first 23, 23 months. months of not cleaning this product. So in general, there are a lot of no, not a lot of. There are some reviews on YouTube you can find about this product. Some are positive and some are negative. And the, yeah, we want to share this decent, honest review with you. Yeah, and we have to, to explain something. Finsulate asked us to, uh, to create a video like this. And I think that's very brave because when we said, okay, we, we will do it, but we will share our honest uh, experiences. So I think it's very exciting for them. So they agreed to sponsor this video for a certain amount of money. And we said, okay, but then you have to agree with us that we are brutally honest and share everything. Yeah, so here we go. No, I think the, um, we experience the same or even less growth than we had on our copper coat. And we sailed with our copper coat for more than three years. It takes less time to, to properly clean it than the copper coat. Because when you have our experience with uh, the growth on the copper coat, it, you really had to push hard and with Finsulate it's yeah, easy removable with the, with the spark mess and um, the Scots Bright. And uh, we did the third experiment with the high pressure diver. Yeah, with the cavitation and that's, yeah, that's an amazing technology. Then it's like new. Yeah, yeah but because <laughs> I think this technology is, is perfect for Finsulate because it comes between, let's say, between the layer and the hairs and it pushed the, the air bubbles between and then it starts exploding. But you, yeah, you You've can see- You've seen it in the video. But what is important to tell, I think, is that it's not necessary because we could also very much clean it with the spatula and the scotch bag. Yeah, patches. and I'm not a good uh, free diver, so I needed uh, the bottles uh, to, to clean the hole. But I think it would take me one, two days to fully clean it after, let's say, almost 24 months in the water. The negative point is on some seams, it seems it lets loose on, uh, on some small parts. It's not a big deal. Um, and we are not sure if it is because we applied it on the copper coat or it's uh, because it's, um, yeah, it's, it's- It's just a product development issue that they yeah. need to solve. Could they be need to, yeah, we will, we will tell them anyway. Yeah, so on some parts, it seems that kind of a hard barnacle is kind of eating the hairs of the finsulate. But we have to take a deep dive into that. And for the rest, yeah, a friend of mine, he asked me, so, okay, um, would you apply it again? And I think that's a very valid question. And for me, it's a definitely yes for now, because after two years, it's easy removable. Um, it's cheaper. It's cheaper than the copper coat. It's better for uh, And it's, yeah, it's eco-friendly, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about I'm it. I'm a little bit more. Um, conservative. Conservative, because I really want to see the boat on the hard and, ins and inspect the parts that uh, are damaged yeah. and how the seams get loose and what happens when a seam gets loose with our uh, with our hull. Yeah. But that's me. No, so because you were a lawyer before and I was an entrepreneur selling <laughs> startups <laughs> and so I was only uh, always like oh, this. Always so. on the positive, yeah. Always so on the positive side, yeah. yeah. But if we look at the four main objections we see in the reviews on YouTube, the first one is it doesn't stop growth. Well, that is true, but you have the same amount of growth with Finsulate as with Copper Coat in our experience. Yeah. Um, and that was a marketing mistake. In the beginning, they said that it will stop growth, but that's just not that's just not the case. No. The second is that the product loses its function and lets loose. Well, we only see it on the seams, so after. No, 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 and not all the seams, just small parts. Parts, yeah. yeah. On some seams and on the front of the bow where there's a lot of uh, resistance in the water. Yeah, and I wanted to say something about cleaning the boat thruster. Normally, with the copper coat, it was kind of a nightmare to get between the propellers and to get everything out. But now, with, uh, with Finsulate, it was very easy to clean it especially with the cavitation technology, but also with the, the Scots Bride to clean it. So yeah, I'm very positive. Yeah, so the first two objections was that it doesn't stop growth. We talked about that, that it loosens its function, that it lets loose. We talked about that now as well. Then the third one is that it's some 
some organism is eating the products well we've noticed that a little bit we don't know in what extent and i really strongly believe that it also depends on where you're sailing the amount of growth what kind of growth and what kind of things yeah. so that's something we talked about with pinsulate and they are actually now further researching so we put a link down for full transparency to other people who use the product who were positive and negative so you can take a look for yourself we are still very positive yeah. uh, it does has an impact on your speed overall because it's not that that smooth your your surface but if you have growth with copper coat then probably within a few months you have the same speed problem so yeah. for us it's more important to have healthy oceans than uh, speed ah, yeah they are. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. of but course we also no. changed our genoa from 130 ah. to so that also had an impact but the, the insulation also has an impact if you have a, clean hull you go faster than with resistance but even with a clean hull with copper coat you get growth on it and yeah. before you know it you have the same resistance as with this product so that was it and if you have any questions drop them in the comments we ask Finchelay to reply we will by ourselves reply and uh, yeah this is our honest transparent review about review the magic of, of having a carpet, carpet underneath your, your boat. boat this is how you apply it very sticky. So this floating dock is 180 meters long, 37 meters width and has a lifting capacity of 10,000 tons. So what they want to do here is to create a, a big super yacht, mega yacht overhaul facility. Mm -hmm.